Situation 3, 4 angles, 76 by 76 by 9.5 are built out as shown. The yield strength is 250 MPa. Which of the following most nearly gives the yielding moment capacity of the section? When you say yielding moment capacity, so it depends on the strength of the section such that the extreme fiber will reach the yield strength of 250 MPa. So meaning using elastic analysis, the stress on the furthermost fiber from the neutral axis will reach the yield strength. So the formula for the yielding moment capacity is simply Fy times S sub x. Okay, so S sub x is the elastic section modulus that we can compute based on the section property of the given section. Okay, so let's say this is the, this is one of the angle. So the name of the section is L76 by 76 by 9.5. The first two numbers mean that they are the dimension of the legs. So meaning this is 76 and then this is also 76. And then the third number corresponds to thickness of the legs. So this is 9.5 and then this is also 9.5. Okay? So if we're going to indicate the dimensions of the built-up section, I will draw the built-up section. So this is 76, and then this is also 76. This is also 76. So as you can see, we can compute the moment of inertia of this angle if we are going to consider this as a square with four holes, okay? So this is simply a square with four holes. So since the dimensions are symmetrical with respect to x and y axis, so meaning the moment of inertia with respect to x and y axis are equal. So we need only to compute for one moment of inertia. So let's say we compute for the moment of inertia with respect to x. Okay, so let's say this is the x axis. Moment of inertia is 1 over 12. We have two sides of 76 millimeters, so that is 2 times 76. So we have 152 mm, so B, H, Q. Okay, and then, so we will subtract the moment of inertia of these holes, so minus 1 over 12. So the dimension of the hole will be 76 minus 9.5, that is, 66.5. So we have 1 over 12, 66.5 HQ. So take note, the centroid of this hole does not coincide with the x-axis of the built-up section. So therefore, we need to apply the transfer formula for moment of inertia. So we need to add plus area d squared. So the area of the square hole is 66.5 squared. The distance of the centroid towards the x-axis is simply equal to 66.5 over 2 plus the thickness, okay? So that is 42.75. 42.75 squared, okay? So this is now the moment of inertia of one hole. So since we have a total of four holes, so we will just simply multiply this by 4. Therefore, i sub x is equal to five six three six three eight three point twenty five millimeters to the fourth. Okay, and then to get the elastic section modulus, we will just divide this by the speed or the distance from the neutral axis to the farthest fiber. That distance is 76. So therefore, we divide this 5636383.25 by 76. Okay, so the elastic section modulus is simply equal to 
So therefore, we can now compute the moment yield. We just multiply the yield strength by the section modulus. And that is 1854073438. This is in Newton mm. Convert this to kilonewton meter. That is 18.54. A and that is letter A. Problem 2. Which of the following most nearly gives the plastic moment capacity of the section? So this time, we are asked to solve for the plastic moment capacity. So we need Z sub X. So Z sub X is the plastic section modulus. In determining the plastic section modulus, we just need to get the moment of the area above the neutral axis towards the neutral axis as well as the bottom. Okay, so we can just get the moment of area of the area above the neutral axis and then we just multiply it by 2 because as you can see, the section is symmetrical with respect to x. Okay, so we can look the Built up section as it contains a rectangle on this portion and another rectangle on this left and right side. Okay, so for the first rectangle, so since we have two thickness here, so the dimension of this one is 2 times 9.5, and that is 19. Its height is simply 76 mm and then for the for these rectangles we have already computed the dimension of these rectangles this is 66.5 and then it has a thickness of 9.5 let's compute for zx we have 19 by 76 this is the area so if we take the moment of this area the distance of the centroid of this area towards the x-axis is 76 over 2. Plus, how about the other two rectangles on the left and right side? We have 66.5 times 9.5. Its distance towards the x-axis is 9.5 over 2. Okay, so this is the centroid of these rectangles. And then we just multiply this by 2 because we have two rectangles. Okay? And then, all in all, we multiply this by 2 because there is also a section below the x-axis. So we just multiply this by 2 because it will, have, it will have the same moment of area. Okay? So therefore, the plastic section modulus equals 1, 2, 1, 7, 2, 4, 0, 0, 0.25 millimeter cube. Okay? So now we can compute the plastic moment that is simply Fy times Zx that is equal to 250 times 121747.25 newton millimeter. We divide this by 1000 squared to obtain the answer in kilonewton meter. So therefore, this is 30.44 kilonewton meter. Okay, and that is letter D.